And we continue our team coverage of this storm this New Year's Eve day with Crump War Sarah Stinson. She's live for us in the East Bay with the latest out there. Good morning, Sarah. Stephanie, I've been driving all around on Highway 4, 580, and uh, a lot in Walnut Creek, and now in Martinez. The roads are more than slick. They are flooded in some spots, especially on lanes 1 and 2, especially when you right when you get on Highway 4 from 24. You can see even on the side of the road here, we've got massive puddles, and the streets are lined with water. Underneath that uh, overpass, there's a huge uh, amount of water there. You can see cars <laughs> trying to make it through up there on Highway 4, though. Keep in mind, uh, uh, near Blum Road, there the CHP is reporting some flooding, okay? So make sure you take it slow out there. Even if CHP hasn't reported it, I'm seeing a lot of standing water, and it's causing for concern of hydroplaning. You can see these cars here uh, going close to Highway 4 in Martinez. It's a time to take it slower than you normally would and make sure that you are prepared prepare for that moment when you do hit a flooded roadway. Both hands on the steering wheel, take it slow, breathe deeply, just you'll get through it. Sometimes I really start to panic, but then I remember, okay, you'll get through it, just take it easy, don't put your foot on the gas, the brake, and make sure you don't overcorrect with your steering wheel. Now, we're about to go try and find some more flooding in Concord. We're hearing of some uh, flooding over there on the roadways, so make sure uh, you take it slow out there, Stephanie, because it is dangerous for sure. I've already seen a few incidences where people have had a blown out tire, they've done a spin out, stuff like that. Uh, very, very dangerous. So if you can avoid driving, do so. But if you have to do those last minute errands or you have to go to work like we do, then make sure you're extra aware, extra cautious today. And Stephanie, a, a, an obvious point here is headlights, headlights, headlights. I know it seems obvious, but I have seen a few people without their headlights on and that can be dangerous as well back to you. Yeah, some helpful reminders there from Sarah. Thank you so much and please travel safely. We appreciate your live reporting.